It's 10 trivia questions on 80s TV shows. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show, and thanks for today's topic suggestion of 80s TV shows from Patreon subscriber Vernon Higgy. Vernon has some great ideas for trivia rounds that he put in this big Excel chart we have for all the people at the $5 and higher level on Patreon. Join that club at patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Get cool stuff from me in the mail monthly. I just stamped everything up for uh, February and I'm popping it in the mail tomorrow. So get ready for some fun stuff. 80s TV shows is the category today. Before we get into that, of course, we have our geek out card with challenges for you to do out loud or uh, written down or however you want to do them here's your first couple we have a movie challenge of four films in which a basketball game appears tv is two national news shows books is two graphic novels for music it's four albums that have a baby pictured on the cover art And miscellaneous is two actors who appear in the Indiana Jones franchise. So a little fun warm up for you to get into the game here before we jump into the trivia. But it is that time now to ask you 10 questions on 80s TV shows. Here we go. It's 80s TV show trivia question number one. From 1980 to 1988, what action show? starred a mustached lead with many Hawaiian shirts. Number one, from 1980 to 1988, what action show starred a mustached lead with many Hawaiian shirts? Question two, what state did the Golden Girls take place in? Number two, what state did the Golden Girls take place in? Number three, Mork and Mindy starred Pam Dauber as Mindy. And what actor is Mork? Number three, who played Mork on Mork and Mindy? Question number four, Patrick Stewart starred on what version of Star Trek starting in 1987? Patrick Stewart starred on what version of Star Trek starting in 87? Question number five, what decade did the Wonder Years take place in? Number five, what decade did the Wonder Years take place in? Question six, who is the star of Matlock? Who is the star of Matlock? Question number seven, what was Angela Lansbury's first name on Murder, She Wrote? What was Angela Lansbury's first name on Murder, She Wrote? Number eight, the sitcom Perfect Strangers took place in which U.S. city? And number nine, what sloppy Nickelodeon game show premiered in 1986? Question number 10, roasting on an open fire was part of the title to the first episode of what iconic comedy series? Roasting on an open fire was part of the title to the first episode of what iconic comedy series? Your bonus question here for two points. Airing on NBC starting in 1985, WWE had a program called Saturday Night's What? Saturday Night's What? Those are all of your questions for 80s TV shows. We'll be back with the answers after this. We're back with the answers to 80s TV shows. Let's see how you did. Vernon Hege requested this category. Hope you did well, Vernon. Number one, from 1980 to 88, what action show starred a mustache lead with many Hawaiian shirts? That would be Magnum P.I., Magnum Private Investigator, number one, Magnum P.I. Number two, what state did the Golden Girls take place in? Florida, the Miami area, number two, Florida. 
Number three, Mork and Mindy starred Pam Dauber as Mindy and what actor as Mork? The late, great Robin Williams. Number three, a spinoff of Happy Days in an Alien episode. Very bizarre spinoff that did pretty well. Number four, Patrick Stewart starred on what version of Star Trek starting in 1987? Star Trek The Next Generation TNG. Some people think that's the best. Number five, what decade did the Wonder Years take place in? That would be the 1960s. The 60s for the Wonder Years. Number six, who was the star of Matlock? That was Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith. Number seven, what was Angela Lansbury's first name on Murder, She Wrote? Jessica. Jessica Fletcher. Number eight, the sitcom Perfect Strangers took place in what U.S. city? That would be the city of Chicago. Number nine, what sloppy Nickelodeon game show premiered in 1986? Double Dare. Go down head first into some sort of vat of slime. and Go pick a flag out of a big nose. Double Dare. And number 10, roasting on an open fire was part of the title to the first episode of The Simpsons. It was called Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire. And the bonus for two points airing in NBC starting in 1985. WWE had a program called Saturday Night's Main Event. Main Event. And I think they're bringing it back on NBC in um, the coming future, the near future. Look for that if you're a wrestling fan. A lot of wrestling fans listen to this show. I always notice that from the category requests on this Excel sheet. We've got our fact of the day for you, and that fact is that an IKEA in the Netherlands had to cancel their one euro breakfast special because it attracted too many customers and caused traffic jams on the highway. The one euro breakfast special, getting everybody to IKEA. To eat uh, that horse meat? I don't know what they... (laughs) I have no idea what the Euro breakfast special was, uh, the dollar. But it couldn't have been great. It's a furniture store. Come on, guys. People always line up for those meatballs. I don't think that's real meat. I could be wrong, but... uh... They're just okay to me. We've got uh, lots of fun coming up on the show. Make sure you hit subscribe so you never miss a new episode. And uh, join our Patreon page, patreon.com slash trivia with buds. And as always, hit me up if you have an event coming up you need some live entertainment for, whether it's virtual or in person. Start to get out there on the road a little bit more to do some in-person stuff in places like Chicago and Florida and Michigan and Tennessee and California. So uh, hit me up triviawithbuds.com for all the goods. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. We'll see you next time for more Trivia with Buds. Cheers.